Newton's first law of motion states that an object in motion will continue in motion in a straight line if the net force on the object is zero. It also states that an object at rest will remain at rest if the net force on it is also zero. One of the applications of this idea is static equilibrium. If we have an object in static equilibrium, it says all the forces have to cancel out. So the forces down have to equal the forces up. So on the first picture, you'll notice that we have a single weight where there's gravity pulling down and tension pulling up and those two forces must be equal and opposite. In the second picture we have again gravity pulling down on our mass but this time we have two ropes. Only one of the ropes has an upward component and that is T1. So its Y component will have to equal gravity's downward force. The horizontal pull of rope 1 must equal the horizontal pull of rope 2. So again we see forces have to cancel out. Forces up cancel with forces down. Forces right cancel with forces to the left. If we have two ropes on an angle then each of the ropes has an upward component. We have to add those two upward components together and they will equal the downward pull of gravity. Just like before the horizontal components have to cancel. So the horizontal pull of rope 2 has to cancel with the horizontal pull of rope 1. The big idea again with static equilibrium is forces have to cancel and when the forces cancel the object at rest will stay at rest.